Hey there guys, what is up? Welcome back to Armored Warfare. Um, and I wanted to do a quick video today uh, on Armored Warfare. Um, uh, however, if you guys do want to see more of Armored Warfare, let me know. I have some ideas, you know, I could just show off some of the premium tanks, show off some of the uh, new tanks that are going to be adding soon. Uh, but I don't really know, like, what you guys want to see in particular. So let me know in the comments, like, please let me know. What you want to see and uh i'll um i'll show it whether it is in pvp or pve or whether it's like a specific tank or a specific vehicle um you know let me know in the comment section uh you know give me some uh pointers you know like give like help me to help you basically tell me what you want to see and i'll do my best and uh, you know m make a video or two out of it uh but today as i said it's gonna be a short video uh but i noticed that they now have some of the models in the game for some of the tier 9 and 10 vehicles. Obviously, uh, Arbor Warfare to now was uh, tier, one t well, tier 1 to tier 8, you know, with the T90 and the M1A1 Abrams and the MGS here and the C1 Ariete and all those kinds of vehicles uh, being the tier 8 ones. Uh, here we go, uh, like the in the Leo 2A5 and the Panzerhaus. Uh, what's there on uh, gets the XM8? That's actually new. The Paladin, the Rumka, of course, the Warrior. There we get to the T90. But now, da 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 da, da They added some. Um, they they ac actually added in some new detect tree. But um, I'll take a look at these ones later. Because first, let's take a look at the uh, B1 Draco. It's the only one I like. I like to click on these, but I actually can't. So let's take a look at the Draco, which. It's just a very weird looking, like, it looks like one of those um, headbutt dinos. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Okay, there's actually absolutely no um, statistics for this. So, this looks a lot like an artillery piece. Uh, to me, the way that that gun is put on that turret, in the way it's going to be able to, you know, like, arc upwards... I'm guessing this is artillery. I'm sorry if I'm totally stupid and it's not artillery, but it just looks like artillery. But then even then, this thing looks like like a, it has like a tumor on the back of his like turret right there. It's insane. Uh, I like the uh, little smoke charges here. Um, definitely uh, an interesting looking vehicle, to say the least. Not as cool as the Panzerhaus, which is the Panzerhaus beats. I know, but I like it to call it the Panzerhaus. But this uh, this thing is definitely definitely interesting, uh, and it's a tier nine. Uh, I cannot, you know, show you anything besides just the preview of the vehicle, sadly enough. But um, I guess more will come on that later, and you know, I'll be I'll be able to like drive it around and show it to you guys. Um, the M8, which is a tier nine, this looks like a light vehicle. Um, this actually looks a lot like the VFM. Now I have no idea about this, but take a look at the VFM uh, preview. See, see what I mean? You see what I mean, right? It looks a lot like it. But the V of M, obviously, um, one of my favorite tanks in the game right now. Uh, and this one, they look a lot alike. This being uh, two tiers higher uh, than the... Sorry, sorry, three tiers higher than the V of M. Uh, so I'm not sure what the details are on it, like the specs and the gun and the penetration. All that kind of stuff, obviously, you know, has to come in the future when they add... Uh, stuff to the vehicles and that right now. It's just you know guesswork So I'm not really gonna get into that because I just make a fool out of myself But I can see definitely see how it's taken a lot of stuff from a chassis anyway away from the V of M uh, So I, I'm it's definitely le probably like another tank the tank I'm really hyped to see was the Challenger 2 the Challenger 1 already is in the game at tier uh, 7 which uh, oh, hang on 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 uh, Come on why are you doing this? Here we go. Challenger 1 obviously is in the game. Pretty awesome looking tank. Looks a lot like a Chieftain in my opinion. At least the, the turret kind of does. Um, but if you go to the Ch Challenger Mark 2, yes. It is a beautiful tank. And I cannot wait to get my hands dirty with this baby. That looks, that looks a bit weird. Um, but seriously though, I, I cannot wait to get my hands dirty with this baby. Uh, I'm really looking forward to using it. Challenger 2 is one of my all-time favorite tanks in terms of um, looks anyway. It's a really nice looking tank. I can't show you the T9 TMS. I can't show you the T, the ch sorry, the Challenger 2 LEP, even though I don't know what LEP stands for. Um, however, the T14 Armata, which some of you might know, uh, it was participating in a, some sort of parade in Russia uh, like a two, three months ago. 
and um, it 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 just died in the middle of the parade. I think the engine troubles and had to be towed away by a couple of uh, heavy duty vehicles, which is uh, interesting to say the least. I think this is a um, wait. I'm not sure what daughter is that. Smoke that looks like a lot of smoke. This vehicle obviously um, one of the most well, I guess. Everybody knows that it exists, but I'm pretty sure this is like one of the most secretive vehicles out there. Like it's going to be impossible to find the blueprints and all like the details for this. But that's why I guess Armored Warfare is going to like have to put in um, like speculative design, like uh, like ar like armor penetration and like the gun and everything. But damn, this thing it looks it looks so I don't know it looks so modern and so cult warrior at the same time. I absolutely love it. It's it's like a boat on land. Like, it's so flat. I have no idea. But however, my favorite thing, and some of you might have seen this come by on your uh, on your Facebook, if you're a Facebook person. Um, this tank is a Polish design, if I'm not mistaken. And it's basically a try at making a tank stealth. Basically, this is an attempt at a land based uh, F-117 uh, Nighthawk. It, it's, they're trying to make a stealth version out of tanks, which I'm not really sure if that works the same way, but I guess part part of it is like trying to um, like be less, subs like I can't say the word, sustainable, sub su su I can't say the word, like being less um, prone to like missiles, like heat missiles, heat seeking missiles and infrared missiles and everything. Um, and this thing, it just looks like a rhino. Like it just like it is, okay, it is, here, like here's an eye. Uh, this is the massive horn. It just looks awesome. I, I I don't know what to say. I really cannot wait to drive this beauty around, especially because you know it's a very secretive and prototype kind of thing where uh, <laughs> you'll never even see one in real life. You know, it's, I really am hyped to drive this thing around. It looks really cool. Even like that little, what is that? Is it a machine gun on there? It's hard to see. As I said, though, I think it looks a lot like a rhino that's like winking, like he's here's open eye, he's like winking with his eye or whatever. It just looks so cool. So I definitely cannot wait to drive this thing around in battle. Sadly enough, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit, um, but I can definitely see that thing coming really soon because it also says coming soon. And it, like I said, let me know in the uh, comments what you want me to uh, to drive or show you, and uh, I'll probably will. So thank you for watching, don't forget to stay awesome, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. You claim it's love that you never started. You once destroyed a broken heart that was already shattered.